Laying upside down for just 5 minutes a day can increase blood flow to the scalp which may regrow hair. Now this is just according to internet folklore. However, did you know? In a study with over 20 balding men, Exposure to 650 nanometer wavelength red light for 25 minutes a day showed a 35% increase in hair regrowth. Those are just some of the natural techniques and hacks that I will be applying over this next week and so on to see what actually might work to regrow hair naturally. That is right, we are going to be diving into the myths, the science, the hacks, all that could supposedly regrow hair and create the strongest hairline possible. Will it work? Let's find out. But you gotta focus. All right, so just to be clear, earlier today we did a five minute inversion session on my bean bag, just five minutes upside down at about a 45 degree angle, getting that blood flow to the head. And then we also did a 25 minute session in front of the red light using my red lights, 650 nanometer wavelength only. Now I did just get out of the gym where I did consume a serving of beetroot powder. Beetroot powder has been shown to increase nitric oxide in the body and nitric oxide has been shown to help with blood flow. And like I've been mentioning, increased blood flow could help with hair regrowth and hair growth in general. Now before I head home and get into the other supplements, I'm actually headed to the store where I'm going to pick up some essential oils that have been said to help regrow hair. So the primary essential oil I was in search for was rosemary oil. In a study I found rosemary oil was compared to 2% minoxidil and showed similar benefits after a 6 month period, but with less unwanted side effects. I also picked up some cedarwood oil as well, for I heard it was good for healthy hair. So we are back home now, we've got our essential oils right here but before we make a solution and start applying those I'm actually gonna consume some of my daily supplements so for my post workout healthy hairline supplement stack what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a serving of this collagen protein in some studies that I've been looking at there is promising evidence that consuming collagen may help produce or may help support healthy hair growth or hair regrowth. Also, I'm gonna stack on top of that a B vitamin, specifically vitamin B7, also known as biotin. In a bunch of studies I looked at, biotin always showed improvement in hair growth. Now I am taking my biotin in this blend right here by Snap Supplements, this hair tonic blend. There are also some other active ingredients like zinc, copper, MSM, amongst some other ingredients, but the main one I'm looking in this supplement right here is the biotin. So I'm gonna consume these right now, take a shower, then we're gonna make a topical ointment, we're gonna apply it, and then I will be talking about these other supplements and techniques later, and throughout this video, we have so much we are throwing at the hairline. Keep in mind, there are multiple rebuttals for all of these natural remedy claims, but there is also promising evidence as well, and I just chose to look at the promising evidence. Just think hair growing thoughts. I gotta think hair growing thoughts right there. Also, you may be thinking one week is too short to see any results, but as you will see later in this video, I decide to extend the time frame, and then with all the techniques I'm using, you might be surprised at the results. All right, guys, I just got out of the shower, and now I'm going to make and apply my rosemary cedarwood oil hair oil growth ointment. So I read that per treatment, you wanna apply about five drops of rosemary oil into about a teaspoon of some kind of carrier oil. I'm gonna use coconut oil right here because it's also said that coconut oil can have healthy hair properties. Oh wow, that's strong. And now I'm gonna take about five drops of cedarwood oil. Oh, that smells too. Where are you at? Come on. Okay, now I'm gonna mix these with the coconut oil here. All right, now I've got this like paste here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and we're gonna apply it to these little dents right here where I've been experiencing some hair loss over the years. Coconut chunks. Oh my gosh, a piece of hair fell out. Dude, that's not a good sign. Mix it in there, kind of put it in the hairline right here. How do I look, huh? All right, it's in there. So I did read that you can just leave it in there or if you want to rinse it out because maybe you don't like the smell, you can rinse it out in about five to 10 minutes. I guess that's all it takes. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it in there for a bit. And if my wife thinks it smells repulsive, then I might rinse it out to be nice, you know? <laughs> now something you might be thinking, bro, your hairline isn't even bad. 
why are you even doing this experiment? Well, first of all, I just want to say thank you. I, I appreciate that. And personally, I don't think my hairline is necessarily bad. But if we do look at the Norwood scale, which just kind of indicates the stages of male pattern baldness, if I pull my hair back and expose my hairline, looking at stages one through seven, I have self-determined that I'm around between stage one and two, which means I might be on my way or have at least begun male pattern baldness. Now that doesn't necessarily mean I will get bald in the next year, two years. It just means, you know, it either has started or I'm at that stage. Now my idea is with all of these techniques, methods, hacks, remedies, etc., maybe just maybe in a short amount of time, we might actually get something to budge. And if I do see any improvements in hair health or even regrowth in some hair, then that means someone with a more receding hairline on the Norwood scale would then have hope by using some of these natural techniques to possibly stop the hair loss and hopefully even initiate hair regrowth. So with that being said, right now I'm gonna relax, let this ointment sit in, then probably gonna make some dinner and take some more natural hairline potentially enhancing supplements. So a very popular pharmaceutical for hair regrowth or just preventing hair loss is a drug called finasteride. And essentially how that works is by blocking 5-alpha reductase, which essentially converts testosterone to DHT. And excessive amounts of DHT may be responsible for an advanced timeline in male pattern baldness. So finasteride essentially blocks that, slowing down male pattern baldness. And in some cases, I guess some people say it even helps them regrow hair. But Sol Palmetto is a natural herb that is supposed to work the same or similar mechanisms as finasteride. And this is what we're gonna be taking here in this experiment every single day. It almost smells like candy. Boom, boom. Is it gonna come down to right here? Is it gonna connect to my eyebrows, like right there? Right before bed, adding in our final supplements, cod liver oil high in omega-3s, but also a naturally occurring source of vitamin D. Also adding in a zinc and magnesium supplement, ZMA. All of these nutrients are said to support healthy hair growth. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, it's on. Oh yes. Okay. So I decided to try one of these headlights that uses the same 650 nanometer wavelength red light as my standalone red light system does. I just figured this might bring it closer to the head, which might amplify results. Something you're probably curious about. I am too. Let's check the EMFs. Make sure my brain isn't getting EMF'd. Well, that's good news, folks. We're not getting any uh, crazy EMF reading from this thing. So, good job, iRestore. Nothing out of the ordinary regarding EMFs. This device right here has actually been put in some clinical trials, according to iRestore, the company. Regardless, I saw some before and after pictures and it, they seem pretty promising. However, these before and afters were over the course of like six months. And now I know we're only doing this experiment for a short amount of time, at least initially for this video, but we are throwing the kitchen sink at it. I am telling you, I think in only one week, I will see something budge. Now it is recommended you wear this every other day, not every day. So I'm gonna follow the instructions on this, alternate between this and using my red light. Now I was actually having trouble finding the iris store study but there are a bunch of different studies looking at 650 nanometer wavelength red light and its potential ability to stimulate hair regrowth. What I found is that it seemed like treatment every other day for approximately 25 minutes at a minimum of about 16 weeks which is approximately 4 months yielded around a 35% increase in hair growth. Now I know I'm only doing this for a short amount of time but I figured we should do it any anyways because maybe there would be a small effect in only about 7 or 10 days. On top of that I wanted to double up and do my normal red light treatment on the off days so that I was doing red light treatment every day for this entire experiment. Whew. Did it work? Oh it's kind of warm. A little bit warm. Just a wee bit. Alright cool. We're adding this to the regimen.
Now, additionally, something new I'm gonna throw in is this supplement that I just picked up right here called keratin. Keratin is a protein found in the epidermal tissues of like animals and humans. So it's said to help support hair, skin, nail health, kind of like collagen claims it supports it. So it's just kind of an extra on top of it. So I thought we'd just throw it into this experiment because we're throwing the kitchen sink at it. Now, if the keratin is just in its natural form, then it's most likely not gonna be digested according to sources that I read online. So you wanna get it in a hydrolyzed form. This one right here from Double Wood Supplements is hydrolyzed keratin peptide. So I assume that's okay. Then I'm also gonna throw on top of this and from here on out, some additional vitamin C. Vitamin C is said to help support collagen absorption and just collagen production in the body. So I'm gonna take that with the bone broth, the keratin, the biotin, all three right now as the first load of supplements on day two before we get into the rest of them like we've been doing. Man, it's just like, you know what I mean? Whoa, all right, before I take a shower, I've gotta share with you guys something. So I've been using this shampoo right here. They claim it's a biotin infused B-complex shampoo. Now the study's done on topical biotin ointments or applications or shampoos to the hairline. If I'm not mistaken, the results are pretty inconclusive. However, I do wanna say, I haven't just added this in now, I've actually been using this shampoo since 2015, it's like my only shampoo I use. So whether you think maybe I already had a good hairline or not, or have had a consistent hairline for that matter, this is the one thing I've been using since 2015, every single day when I wash my hair. So I'm going to continue using this shampoo throughout this one week experiment. Just keep that in mind, this is my go-to, all the time, all right. And then finishing the day with the evening supplements, and now keeping this day two routine exactly the same on days three and four. The only difference is I wanted to stick to the recommendations of doing the red light helmet every other day. So on the other days, I use my red light device for 25 minutes, which was kind of a lot. <sighs> Woo! Continuing the topical application of rosemary oil and cedarwood oil, letting it sit in for at least 10 minutes, usually over 30 minutes, consuming my collagen as well as my supplementation. The key was that I stayed consistent every single day. Oily. Good morning, folks. Just in the mail right here, I have something I wanna share with you guys. Just another hack in this arsenal of hacks. Oh man, is this gonna be sterile? Uh, I don't know about this. Okay, anyways, what I got here is a micro needler. So it's basically like a roller with a bunch of little needles on there. And the idea behind that is, one, it's supposed to help stimulate collagen, which in theory might help with hair regrowth. The way I see it is maybe, our, maybe those little needles could like break apart some just recently closed follicles, if that's even a thing. My only problem is if I'm gonna be like lightly piercing even just a little layer of skin, like I would want my device to be sterile. And I don't know about you guys, but it's like, just look at this. Does that look really sterile to you? I guess those needles are extremely shallow. So I don't know, man. I might have to send this back and maybe go with a more high-end one. This is like one of the cheapest ones I could buy. Oh! Just kidding, it has like prints all over it already. Kind of like it may have been open. There's like a hair in it too. I don't know, it just doesn't seem sterile. Yeah, so unfortunately I decided not to use the micro needling device for this video, but let me know maybe if you guys just want to see me single out micro needling in a future video and see if that works over the course of a week, 10 days, a month. If there's enough interest, I will definitely check that out and try to make that video, but maybe with a more high-end micro needling device. So the idea behind this ice bath is to get that blood to flow closer to the surface of the skin, hopefully to the follicles. Just stimulate that area. Will it actually grow back hair or prevent hair from falling out? I don't know, I decided to throw it in anyways because that's what we're doing guys, we're throwing the kitchen sink at this. But yeah, I melted all the ice and now we are going to take a shower, eat dinner, and take more supplements. All right, 
What's up guys, so it is currently day eight. I just have a feeling that I am either starting to like see results or they're about to happen in like the next couple of days. I just have that like gut feeling. So I wanna push this experiment a little bit further than just one week and I actually wanna continue what I'm doing for about 10 days. And now I know throughout this experiment, I've just been throwing things at you that I've been deciding to take. But right here, I actually made a nice visual representation of the oral supplements that I'm taking throughout this experiment. This does not include the topical solutions, but I just wanna show you how many powders and pills I'm taking just for hair growth throughout this experiment. We have our multi-collagen that we've been taking and we add it either in water, warm, or we add it in bone broth like I did here. We have our beetroot powder to help increase that nitric oxide production for hopefully increased blood flow, for hopefully hair follicle stimulation. Then we have our vitamin C, two pills, approximately a thousand milligrams. Vitamin C can help stimulate collagen production. We have the controversial keratin that many claim have helped them grow healthier hair, skin, and nails. Two pills of that per day. We have Saul Palmetto, the natural herbal, supposedly DHT reducer or blocker. Then we have our biotin MSM and multivitamin mineral complex by Snap Supplements right here. Then we have our ZMA, zinc, magnesium, and vitamin B6. This is a supplement that is said to help replenish depleted zinc levels in athletes who are expending a lot of energy and sweating a lot. I sweat a lot, so I am adding this in to hopefully replenish my zinc. Now the serving size for men is three pills, but I'm only taking two pills because the Snap Supplements blend also has zinc in it, and I just don't think I need three pills if I'm already getting over 100% daily value in the Snap Supplement as well. So these are all of the oral supplements we have been taking on a daily basis for the last seven days. It is now day eight. I'm gonna continue taking these as well as doing the topical treatments, which I've already applied for today. I really do feel like I'm just noticing my hair is looking healthier at the least maybe even looking thicker. I've gotten a comment from my wife. Like, so. All I noticed was I was looking at you and like this is like filling in actually, which was the problem. So that is why I wanna continue to push this a couple of more days to see if we can just get some noticeable differences on the camera. But with that being said, everything else is the same. We're taking these oral supplements, we're drinking our collagen, and then I'm gonna go take a shower and get on with the rest of our hair stimulating routine. All right. Something additionally I've been doing is ever since I did that ice dunking with the head, it was, you know, kind of costly and it was getting a little inconvenient, you know, just running to the store, getting the ice back and forth, yada, yada, yada. So what I have been doing and what I will be doing for these final days, finishing up this experiment, going in the shower, taking my normal shower, but then when I'm finished, a 30 to 60 second pure cold shower, focusing the water just on my hair, and then going back to warm again for about 60 seconds, and then going back to cold, and then to warm, and then to cold, and then, and then to warm. Three repetitions, and I feel like that is stimulating that circulation to the hair, to the hairline, and hopefully thus can help us improve our hair. So for the next couple of days, I continued this ridiculous hair stimulating routine consisting of a five minute inversion session, 25 minute red light stimulation, the rosemary cedarwood coconut oil topical application, the plethora of supplements, the biotin infused shampoo, as well as the contrast shower. Did this consistency actually help me grow extra hairs on my head? You might be surprised, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to look at the results. What's up, Home Slice? So it has been just over 10 days now since we started this natural hair regrowth experiment. Did it actually work? You might be surprised. Let's take a look at the before and after results. So just initially taking a look at the before and after, immediately what I noticed is in the after, my hair looks thicker. But you gotta remember, my hair has grown since I started this, 10 days worth of growth. So my hair might appear thicker because it's covering a little bit more of my head. So just don't focus on the overall hair, focus on the hairline itself. Let's dive in a little deeper and see if we got some results. Now the most promising comparison I found was the before and after after comparison of my weak side of my hair, that's my right side of my hair right here, it looks at first glance like, oh my gosh, this might have worked 
amazingly. But let's dive in, let's take a closer look and see what's really going on there. So just side by side, in my opinion, the after looks significantly better. It looks like there's literally new follicles growing. I see like a couple of new follicles. But if we do an overlay and take a look close up, looking at those follicles that I believed were new and just sprouted out of nowhere were actually probably there the entire time. And the hairs just kind of got moved around a little bit differently, making it look maybe a little bit thicker. However, something that I'm noticing is it really does appear like my hair overall looks thicker. And not just because it grew like I mentioned just a minute ago, but like the follicles themselves actually look more contrast, like down at the roots. And to reinforce that, just looking at it very closely, it looks like I'm just having greater hair density up at the hairline in front of the head right here. What do you guys think just looking at these before and afters? Do we actually start to see some promising results? Keep in mind, very important, it has only been 10 days since we started this experiment. In fact, most of the studies that I looked at were observing the control and the placebo group at a minimum of four months. And just looking at anecdotal evidence based on all of these things I've researched, people usually say they see results around six months. So at 10 days, I know that is short, but I was thinking because we threw so much at the hairline, we might have seen something budge. And just by looking at these after results here, I think we might have just done that. So going forward, will I continue to do some of these techniques? You bet I absolutely will. One of the techniques I am gonna be continuing to do on a daily basis for the next couple of months, and I am just really thinking I'm gonna get some good results, is the topical application of the rosemary oil. The reason I'm so interested in continuing the rosemary oil as a topical application is because of that study I came across that compared rosemary oil to Minoxidil. So what is Minoxidil? It's a popular topical application that many swear by when it comes to regrowing hair due to male pattern baldness. A popular cosmetic brand name you probably heard of, Rogaine, well the active ingredient in Rogaine is Minoxidil. Now common side effects of Minoxidil application are generally just kind of like a dry, itchy scalp, which is like, okay, sure, if my hair is gonna grow back, what's the problem with that? But I actually came across some more rare side effects of minoxidil, and one of them is it can decrease the production of collagen in the skin, leading to potential like wrinkles or bags under the eyes. While on the other hand, when it came to rosemary oil, most of the studies, and just from my experience, didn't show many side effects, if any at all, except for the smell. I mean, it, it's powerful, it's a powerful smell. That is why I'm gonna continue to use it because it's compared to this essentially drug when it comes to effectiveness. I feel like I wanna see what's gonna happen after a couple of months of topically applying rosemary oil. Now remember, all of these studies are just studies. Correlation doesn't mean causation. These techniques might not work for everybody out there, or they might not work for most people, but they might work for a, a very few select individuals, okay? Take everything with a grain of salt, do your own research, try to find what works best for you. As I'm finishing up editing this video, I feel like there's also something I should mention. Another thing along with the Biotin infused shampoo that I have been using since about 2014, 2015, an MSM lotion. Now, why does this matter for this video? Well, because heck, every time I get out of the shower, I always use this on like my forehead area right here. And I'm certain, I know for a fact, that a lot of it, or some of it, gets into my hair. And to be real, if you guys want to know the secret, I think that's the reason why my hair stands up so crazy all the time. Because like after a night's rest, if some of this gets in there from my forehead, you know, my hair will stand up. It's usually not product or anything like that. I think it's usually just this lotion. But the reason I'm disclosing this is because maybe this has something to do with my hairline being preserved or maybe it has nothing to do. Maybe I'm just meant to have a good hairline. Maybe it's genetics. However, I know you guys are gonna laugh at this. One of my elementary school teachers was certain. She told me that I would be bald by the time I was an adult because my grandpa's bald on my mom's side. And apparently it was like a genetics thing. We were doing like genetics in the science class or something like that. You'll be bald by the time you're 30. I think that just kicked off my insecurities right there as a little kid. So no sour feelings. I just. That's a true story too, you know, the librarian with the, the pencil neck, the elementary school teacher with the bald head. I'm just disclosing this because yes, I've been using this at least once on a daily basis. And that's one more thing I do want to disclose. Nothing in this entire video was a paid advertisement. Every product I used was because either I had it or I wanted to use it. 
for this video. I researched it, bought it with my own money, or I already had the product on hand. I'm gonna go finish up this video. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. More videos coming out. Hope you all have a great day. Peace. I will see you all in the next video.